Okay, if you're watching this video, you're probably one of my students, and you're either going to be heading off to college or getting out of high school soon. And I encourage you, learn how to cook. Uh, it saves you money. It's a lot healthier for you. And when I got started cooking, one of the easiest ways to get into it is doing a slow cooker or a crock pot. I'm going back here many, many years to one of my favorite recipes. It's a Southwestern meatloaf. I got two pounds of ground beef. I got two cups of crushed corn chips. I just got these Fritos and crushed them up. I'll use one cup or half of this bag of Fiesta Blend finely shredded cheese. I'm going to do two thirds a cup of this restaurant salsa. I got a quarter cup of taco seasoning and two eggs. I'm going to beat up the eggs. I'm going to throw this all in a mixing dish and mix it all up. When it gets nice and well mixed, I'll start forming it into a loaf shape and get it ready. Just throw it in the crock pot. Okay, I got it into a semi-reasonable loaf shape and I got it into one of my crock pots. I'm going to just put a little salt and pepper on the top here. And the beauty of the crock pot is the... It's hard to overcook. There's low and high settings. Uh, the original recipe I'm basing this off of had it as low uh, setting for 8 to 10 hours. So in college, I could make this before I went to my morning class, plug it in, put it on low, come home 8 hours later, and dinner was ready. I'd just whip up some mashed potatoes or maybe a side dish, and I was ready to go. All right, I'll turn the camera back on. When this is mostly cooked, we'll make a glaze for it. We'll hit it with the glaze and give it 15 more minutes in the crock pot. See you then. The meatloaf has been in the uh, slow cooker for about uh, seven and a half hours. I just turned the knob up to the high setting and I'm gonna mix up the little glaze here real quick. Uh, and then we'll coat the meatloaf and give it about 15 minutes back in a crock pot. Uh, the glaze is gonna be two uh, tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm gonna put that in the microwave and get it to start melting there. Uh, add a half cup of tomato ketchup. I got this Simply Heinz. It's no artificial sweeteners. It's kind of the same stuff they sell over Europe. Uh, now we're gonna do a, a teaspoon of ground mustard and maybe half a teaspoon of garlic powder and onion powder. All right, the meatloaf has been in the crock pot for a little over eight hours. I turned it up to high a little bit ago to get that heat up. And let's put that glaze on. Get a little on there. Alright, I'm going to give that about 15 minutes there on high. While that's going, I'm going to make up some, uh, maybe some mashed potatoes and a southern corn mix with some peppers in it or something. The glaze has been on there for about 15 minutes. And it's looking and smelling really good. Alright, let me get a knife and cut a slab off of there now this of course by the size of it there's going to be a plenty of leftovers if you're in college you could dish this out and sell some to your roommates ah. so looks really nice inside Maybe I'll paint it with a little more of the uh, the glaze. And then I'll chop this up later and put it in some Tupperware for some nice, easy leftovers. You can just reheat them right up. So there's the final product. Got some corn, got some taters, and this uh, Southwest meatloaf. Mm-mm.